Hello there, my name's Joe and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd take a look at a set of nodes that I have in my comfy UI that I'm using called the Crystals um, Suite. So it's a set of nodes. It also includes the resource monitor, which we'll go into. Um, and these, these nodes, this setup was created by a technical author called Christian. So we'll also take a look at um, the GitHub page um, for Christian and the, the nodes that he, he has put into uh, Comfy UI. And then after that, I'll uh, share with you my workflow that we see here and, and how I'm using some of the crystal nodes to um, generate a image to image. So um, yeah, so moving on, let's um, quickly just go through the installation process to install crystals. Okay, so install uh, crystals, easiest way is via Comfy UI Manager. If we select Manager, select the Install Custom Nodes. When it opens, just go into the search box and type in crystals, C-R-Y-S-T-O-O-L-S. -O -O Press Returns, and you'll see here that there are two crystals options there. We're looking at the first one. So you need to install that and restart Comfy UI. Once you've installed Crystals, um, two things will happen really. First of all, uh, once you've restarted Comfy UI, you should now be able to see the resource monitor, um, which is over here. Now you will notice here that um, on my particular computer, I've just got three resources visible which is cpu ram and hdd disk space um, the reason for that is that on my computer i use amd um, gpu however if you use nvidia then you will um, get cpu gpu ram vram and disk space but um because amd users are the uh poorer cousin in Comfy UI, we, we get slightly less. However, still very useful um, to me. Um, in addition to the resource monitor, so we, we now also now have a suite of crystals nodes. So if we come over, add node, we've got a um, bunch of crystals nodes to choose from, and we'll take a a look at a couple of these as we go along and we'll take a look at as i said before christian's documentation so there's um quite a lot of stuff here available both for um newbies like myself or for advanced um comfy ui users so um yeah so so we have the resource monitor and we have the crystals nodes available to us now so um let's move on and take a quick look at Christian's documentation in GitHub. Moving across to the GitHub page for uh, Christian's um, crystals. So we've got the main page here. Um, if you want over here on the far left-hand side um, where you see Christian's name, if you go click on that link, that will take you to his profile page and you can see um, other work that um, Christian may have done. We're gonna focus on this page here, which is the main page. Um, so here's all the technical info and as we scroll down it, we get some nice, uh, nice documentation on describing, um, both his resource monitor and, um, some of the other nodes as well. So let's have just a quick look at his, um, his documentation here on the monitor. Um, this is for, uh, NVIDIA example, however, um, quite nice we can we can see how it works so it's giving you um information in real time on how your computer's resources are doing and as he uh mentions himself very useful you know to help identify bottlenecks in your workflow um you get a good chance to see if your computer is really struggling with memory or gpu or whatever it might be time to reboot the server or close down a few things 
So yeah, there's a very nice touch. You also get with the resource monitor, you get a progress bar, which will show you how each task is, is going as, as you initiate it. And also once the task is completed, it gives you a time um, result of so, so you can see how, how long that particular task took. So again, very useful, perhaps more so if you're into development. So resource monitor, very useful. Um, moving on, let's come down. We mentioned the progress bar that is done there. Um, so again, um, with this documentation, some very nice examples of the different nodes um, that are available and some good, some good pictures. Um, certainly better than some I've seen on uh, in GitHub. I find this quite useful. And there's a variety of stuff there. Again, as I said earlier, um, useful to the newbies and some stuff there that um, I wouldn't use, but more um, complex users would. So um, let's flip through. Yeah, so you can see there's, there's, there's quite a bit of stuff there and it's well documented. So enough of that, I think. Let's um, take a look at my workflow and I'll just demo how I'm using just a couple of the more um, simpler nodes um from crystals okay so let's take a a look at my workflow here which is a image to image workflow and i've added in a couple of the crystals nodes um, just to demo them in action so uh my workflow i've got at the top here um comfy space if you haven't seen that before then uh, might be worth having a look at my um, YouTube on that. I find that very useful. It's a workflow management tool, um, very useful. But um, yeah, so I use that a lot um, over here on the right hand side. So we have our um, Comfy UI menu and we've got, as we can see, we've got the, um, the CPU details, resource details being shown here now because we've got um, crystals installed. So, and that will become more active as and when we actually generate an image. So in addition to that, I've broken down my workflow into two groups. So this first group here, group one, is just a standard um, nodes I would use for image to image with the exception of um, load image, which I've used the crystals one for this demo, um, hence why that is down there. And additionally, I have in, I've added an empty latent image, um, just so in case if I wasn't using image to image, I would need that to do text to image. So I, I add that as well, but that's by the by. Okay, so we've got, we've got the load checkpoint. We've got our two prompts, positive and negative. We've got a VAE encode required to encode the um, the graphics, the pixels data into um, AI speak. We've got our case sampler and then we're outputting it to um, save image via a VAE decode. I've just grouped the VAE decode and the save image together purely to, to save space. And coming down now, if we look at group two, for the crystals nodes. So we have this load image with metadata. Um, I then just picked a couple of random, um, some of the more simpler nodes, because I am I am new to Comfy UI, so I'm, I'm not technical at all. So this is very basic stuff. Um, so we've got a node here, get resolution. That's going to give me um, the resolution details of the image that I have chosen to upload. We have this metadata extractor that will extract the information from the image. And then you've got, you can load a variety of nodes to output that information too. So you can see here, these are all the same node, show any value to console display. And I've just linked them to um, the different areas. So um, we have, prompt we have workflow 
and we have file info. Those are the three outputs that I'm just using for this demo. So I think that's about it, other than to explain why and how I would do this. So what I would do is if I'm working on an image to image, I'm going to start off with my base image, which we have this, this young lady here. Um, and I would then no doubt want to tweak that image um, by using my prompt. So, so really, I want some information in here that actually relates to this initial image. So it would be very useful for me to have the original image, uh, sorry, the original information about this image before I start tweaking um, my prompts that I, I want to generate. So what I would do is, first of all, I would deactivate my group one nodes. Don't need them at the moment. And so what I'll do is I'll just set group nodes to never, and that just disables my group one. I'm now left with this group two. And what I'll do now is I will now um, select Q prompt and hopefully get the information um, that I want to add back into the prompt up here. Um, up here that relates to this particular image. And then I can then start tweaking that prompt from there. So if we select Q prompt now, you will see um, we've immediately got um, the information I was hoping that we would see. So first of all, get resolution. We've I immediately now know that this is uh, the size of this image, 1024 by 768. Um, show any uh, sorry the um prompt values if we have a look up here we've got all the prompt information that i needed or that was used sorry to generate this original image so that's really handy so i can uh, if i want to build on something similar to this image i can start copying this image uh, sorry this information across um, into my case sampler um, come a bit further down and we've got the prompts there as well. So I would prompt, I, I would copy the prompt information up into my positive prompt box up there and then start tweaking it from that. So in fact, on this example, I've already done that. So the prompt that's existing up here in group, group one is correct, I believe, for this image anyway. So the second box was really just to show the example. So in here, we've output the workflow um, not so useful to me as a, as a newbie, but, um, developers and the like, this kind of information, um, can be very useful on the third output. I use the file info. And so here, this is giving me just all the file details, the file name, file location, um, date and time stamp and the um, size in megabytes of the file. Again, useful little information. I find that quite, quite handy. So I've now got this information. I would, as I said earlier, I would copy the prompt information back into my prompt up here. I would probably match the um, steps, CFG, et cetera, et cetera, um, up here, making sure that we've also got the, 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 you know, the correct checkpoint. And checkpoint details is also in here as well. A bit further down, you'll find a checkpoint. So this is all good, useful stuff. So um, let's now, so th this has done its job. I've got the information I want. I would just deactivate this one now. And so set group nodes to never, and I would reactivate the group one. So set group nodes to always. And that's basically how I would use um, these nodes in an image to image um, setup. And now, so I've got my image. I've decided that I'd like, like it as it is, but maybe I want to change, you know, the color of the scarf or give it glasses or whatever it is it wants to do. So I'll, uh, we'll just make a small change. Let's go for, a, I don't know, green next scarf. See if that works or not. If it doesn't, we'll try something else. Can I spell next scarf? Next, I know I was going to spell that wrong. What's that say? Next scarf. Okay. I would have thought that was one. No, okay. I can live with that. 
Uh, anything else we want to change on this? Um, let's give a green eyes. I think green eyes tend to um, be too strong at times, but let's just so, just so that we can see that it has generated a difference. That's what I'm trying to do here. Not really interested in the output. Just really wanted to show you what the crystals bit does. So ready for that. You'll notice I don't. I'm not a lover of um, negative prompts. I hardly have. I, I personally only use them if I find something that comes out in the resulting image that I don't like. I would then try to chip away at removing that by using the negative prompts. I don't fill this thing up with bad hands bad teeth or whatever yada yada um, I just add them as I feel I need them so pretty much ready now to try and um, execute an image uh, what are we on we are on dream shaper I use prefixes just so I know when I'm filing my images afterwards if we want to keep them um, I try to keep all my images together by the um, checkpoint that's just the way I file stuff but then um, that's by the by. So let's um, initiate this image. Hopefully something half decent will come out and you'll be able to see the, um, the resource monitor in action too. So let's go for that. You can see my RAM there jumping up to, you know, late eighties. So that's quite something. And of course, because my, my machine is AMD. It's probably uh, a fair bit slower than those of you with NVIDIA. However, um, my PC, I think is quite, it's quite beefy. It's got 30 gigabyte RAM and 12 gig GPU. So it's not a, it's not a machine to be ashamed of. It's unfortunately, it's just that um, comfy UI is geared more towards NVIDIA. However, it is what it is. So where are we? We're at, we can see we're at 50% progress on this. I'll just let this run through. I'd like to try and think of things to say while it's doing that, but I'm no good at that. So hopefully this is just going to um, finish very shortly. Okay, so it's going through the VAE decode first and then we'll get our image. Okay, so we got we got green eyes and did we get oh we got a green next scarf so that yeah that worked fine and we can now see if we come back to the uh, resource monitor we can see that that took one minute and nine seconds again if you are um, doing development work that can be very interesting information and um, yeah so that's how I've been using these um, crystals uh, nodes and particularly uh, I do find the resource monitor very useful. Um, I've had on more than one occasion my um, computer bomb out through um, it's just overloaded with memory. I think what's only using um, Comfort UI. So it does give me a chance to keep an eye on things as it's going along. So I think um, Crystal's nodes a useful thing to install the resource monitor is especially useful and um, yeah so that's about it so um, I'll th thank you for taking the time to watch this and um, have a good day and goodbye